All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the uh, sort of the dramatic game in the afternoon yesterday, the Patriots and the Saints. Uh, a game that uh, was frustrating for gamblers who had the Saints <laughs> at plus two and a half, a game that they failed to cover by half a point. I knew I was going to lose that bet when the Saints kicked the field goal to go up four late because when they were up one, it was set up for the Patriots to win by two mm -hmm. with a field goal. But as soon as the Patriots needed a touchdown to win and therefore a three-point uh, cover, you knew you were in some trouble. Tom Brady, at, at, at sort of the exact moment off his worst offensive game ever last week against the Bengals, I sensed that he's not Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then even with this ragtag bunch of receivers who he stands behind very nobly, mm -hmm. uh, he let him right downfield. And uh, uh, that was an impressive drive. A minute 13, I think they had, uh, to go 70 yards without a timeout. Five seconds left, the touchdown in the corner to to Ken Be Before we talk about how great Tom Grady was there, he still, he can't wait to get Gronkowski back. Oh, no, no so, question. I mean, like, if they're not, they can't do this this season. They can't do it this way. It's not going to work. I agree. If he like, doesn't you know, come back, they have their, yeah. their, 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 their red zone and third down uh, play calling is, is different. It's clearly flawed, and you cannot count on Danny mm -hmm. Amendola. As nice a receiver as a Wes Welker light, and it is definitely light that he is, he can't stay on the field. He can't. I mean, he got knocked out. Now, Amendola's done, man. His whole career is done. You can't count on him for anything longer than three quarters. He's, and I know. He, he played for the Rams. I saw it happen a he, lot. Yeah, yeah. He just, he's just, it's not his fault. He's a tiny little guy. He gets hurt all the time. What, what can you do? Uh, he should have played cricket. I don't know. Um, so, 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 now, on, on the topic uh, of, of Tom Brady. Look, and the Patriots. They're, they're so great at, at doing whatever you need to do to win. They keep winning by a, a whisker, right? But you can't keep winning by a whisker. I mean, even the great Brady, the great Belichick, whatever, it's got to give. It's got to mm -hmm. give, right? <coughs> they got to get some, they got to, like you said, they got to get Gronkowski back. Otherwise, they're going to start to lose some games, and they can't win in the playoffs with a Tim team that's this thin. The Saints kicked that field goal, Hartley's last field goal, with about 2.45 to play to put him ahead by four. And then the Patriots got two possessions after that. Yeah, it's amazing. Brady threw that interception. Then the the the, the Saints ran it three times, made the Patriots uh, go through the timeouts. But still, that ended up with a significant amount of time because they called their last timeout on third down right before the two-minute warning. Um, and then they could only run one play afterwards, which gave Brady a, enough time to go the length of the field. If, if one were to criticize the Saints' time mismanagement, which some are, including Larry King, um, it would be that the drive after the interception, no, the drive before the field goal, the drive before that, on third down, uh, they threw the ball in an attempt to get the first down, which would have come close to ending the game, of course, rather, than, stop the rather than making the Patriots use a timeout then, which in hindsight, would have had the Patriots, the Saints, able to run two plays post two minute warning on the other side, which would have left Tom Brady with flat, not enough time to do what he just did. But as you said, they went for it and you admire that. Yeah, the Saints were being aggressive. I believe they won a Super Bowl by being aggressive <laughs> and doing things like onside kicks and stuff. So I don't mind that. I think that's good. But I think And they that couldn't have known that Brady was going to throw the interception. Their thought was, hey, look, whenever we score a touchdown and kick a field goal, Brady's going to have one drive left. Mm -hmm. um, so, as it turned out, you know, it didn't quite, it, it, it worked out oddly, but they would have come, nah, they wouldn't have sealed it there, but they would have made the Patriots burn all their timeouts on that drive uh, and would have given the chance to get another first down, which would have ended the game. In that last drive, as something else kept happening on a third, then I think they did convert one fourth down, maybe, I'm not sure, but it was a couple third downs they definitely converted in that one minute drive. They converted a fourth and four. Yeah, right before they the converted touchdown. a fourth. And so every time something like that would happen, you looked at the faces of the Saints def defense, defensive players, and they kind of looked, oh, here we go again. Like, they had already lost. I was like, they really, they, I, you know, they looked a little tired, of course. You have a rush, hurry up offense going at you. And they looked a little bit like, oh, no, not again. I said, no, you're still on the field. Like, you were still in control of this. And it looked like they were, it was over. I was like, man, did they really, they're looking at me going, oh, we're in, we're in Boston. We're playing the Patriots. We got Tom Brady coming at us. Damn. Yeah, you know, they, the Rex Ryan, Rob Ryan, uh, has done a great job with that defense, obviously. It, it seemed to me that there was not enough, in hindsight, again, and uh, it's really not even a criticism, more an observation. They did not put enough pressure on Tom Brady in that drive. Because the fact of the matter is, what set up that fourth and four were two great throws by Brady that were dropped. So remember, Gronkowski's out, Shane Vereen is out, right. Ridley was injured for a little while. 
When Ridley's back now, got two touchdowns. When Shane Vereen comes back, and now about four weeks, Gronkowski comes back. By the end of the year, all of a sudden they're not so thin anymore.